On today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Playmates Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Super Sewer Headquarters. This very impressive, large, I might add, playset comes with two figures. You get yourself a Mikey and Splinter. The Mikey also is a little bit different than the Mikey we've already had a look at, which is a really nice touch. And this also comes with sounds. Sounds. So you can play up to 50 phrases and sounds from the show. Um, it's a, a big piece. Like down below, there's the bottom of the box. It's also a sewer slide. I'll show you guys that when that gets opened up. But there's the top of the box right there. And we just take this and flip it around. Oh, it's so big. It's such a big box. On the back, the fully realized headquarters. It says wipe out uh, menacing mutants with the water tower slide. Once again, there's 50 phrases. There's multiple levels. Uh, kick the foot out of town for good with a kind of a battering ram kind of thing. I'll show you guys that also in a second. Your read-up says, coming out of their shells for the very first time, the half-shell heroes are ready for non-stop ninja adventure. You can join the fun-loving brothers in their pizza-fueled missions as they team up to mess with menacing mutants and stop the Shredder. Spot's going to take a little more of a shorter, uh, longer break than normal, I should say, because we're going to get this opened up, and when we come back... We're going to get a better look at the Half Shell Heroes Super Sewer Headquarters. There's more heading your way, guys. Definitely a lot more heading your way in this video. Stay tuned. Just before Spot shows you all the really cool features that are on this Headquarters playset, the one thing I forgot to show you with the other toys that we've been looking at is that folks over at Playmates include a pamphlet. And you know how big I am when it comes to pamphlets. Shows you all the figures that we've been discussing and looking at, the talking turtles, the vehicles, the larger deluxe vehicles. Uh, the one that I haven't picked up yet is the Shell Razor. I'd like to maybe get my hands on that at some point. But there's also Ninja Practice dolls. And on the back side, uh, two packs. And then there's a 12-inch Mega, Mega Mutant Leo with 100 phrases and sounds. And you control Leo's ninja movements. That would also be a really neat piece that I'd like to have a look at at some point. Moving that to the side, uh, the playset does come with two figures and also comes with this little car. I'll show you that in a second. But the pieces themselves, the first thing we get is a splinter. Now, it is actually the same splinter that we had a look at before. It's, uh, it, I don't believe there's anything different between this and the other splinter. Um, his tail also has been painted in. It's just uh, one color here. But I love that splinter and uh, equally so, I really like this guy as well. You also get yourself a Mikey, and I didn't actually get a Mikey before. Well, I, I technically did, but I got it with that boat playset, and he had the little flippers and stuff like that. So I, I didn't get a chance to pick up a regular Mikey. And uh, it's interesting that the, the turtles that came with the vehicles all had molded-in accessories. This Mikey doesn't actually have it. it uh, they're, his hands are completely open. So, a little interesting little did you know. You probably did know, because you guys are all smart. You guys are smarter than me sometimes. So, you get yourself two minifigures. And then, of course, you've got yourself this incredibly cool display set up. Now, it's big. It is really big. In fact, I'm so sorry that I can't actually get it all on camera. But, I'll show you all the little individual features, and we'll go through it together. We'll hold hands, we'll go through it together. For starters, the set is two levels, technically three if you really want to count that, but I'll show you that in a second. There's a main base floor, and uh, there is an opening down below which has a sled, I'll show you that as well. But first things first, let's bring the camera in here. Right at the bottom, I'll move these guys out of the way, right at the bottom of the play set, there is a little trap door cover, a little yin yang cover. We've got a, a nice little carpeted area there as well. This section opens up, so you can have your turtles coming through if you want. Um, you got yourself the slide over there. You got yourself uh, like a little compartment area here where you can put your uh, turtle figures. You can have maybe Master Splinter. You can just be sitting down below 
in the main entrance way of the sewer layer. But then you get to yourself the second layer, the second floor, and you've kind of got this Chinatown layout. A couple of dragon statues, there's a Shanghai uh, stir-fry uh, restaurant. On the other side there is another restaurant building. Now this building here has a door that opens. This one here doesn't appear to open, it's just a molded in piece. Uh, other features as well, when you start getting to the higher levels, there's a little section right here that you can take a bad guy. Let's see what we got for bad guys. Pitching off camera here, I got myself Krang. You can put Krang up here in a little bal balcony area. And uh, on the other side here, there's a little swing rope that you can take Mikey, which also helps now that he doesn't have the, the, uh, the nunchucks. And we can just place him through the the hand through the rope section right here. And you can have, let's bring the camera over there, you can have Mikey swinging, which is also a nice touch. While we're at it actually too, let's bring the camera down and examine this section right here. You can take the crang, and you can put the crang on this manhole cover, and there's like a little blob of ooze here. When you press that button, this button right here, it opens up the trap door and the crang will fall right through. This clicks back up and you can press that again. Now let's bring the camera over here up to the top section here. There's a little balcony and we'll just take crang once again up through here. If we take the whole play set and hopefully I'm not going to knock anything over. Let's take the figures off. Take Mikey off here and we'll take crang off. And we'll take splinter off. If I take the whole playset and I spin it around, you can see a little more of the workings here. Up at the top, there's like a little console computer center area where you can take one of the Krangs. They can go up there as their headquarters. The door that we looked at down below that opened up, inside there's like a little, uh, there's some pipe gears and cogs going on there. And this door is the door that opened up. But then on the other side, way on the other side there, at the very top, there is a slide. So what you can do is take Mikey here and you can put him and, and drop him down the chute. The reason why I showed you guys that now is because if I take the set once again and we spin it around, spin it around, again, it's such a, such a big piece. Spin it around like that. Bring the camera back a little bit. Let's take Krang, we'll put Krang right there, and we'll take Mikey, and that little chute that I showed you guys, you can take Mikey and put him behind that chute, and he slides right through and he'll knock whatever bad guy is currently on the balcony, and this little balcony opening will drop. So that's a, that's a really neat touch. Um, at the top, you've got yourself your water tank, on the other side, you've got Mutant Brothers, a mean three-ring circus. Those pieces are actually pieces you have to clip on when you get this first set of packaging. Um, also, too, you can take the Krang. And because it has sounds, you put the Krang right there. Bring the camera in. Hey, Krang, how's it going? And see this button right here that says kick foot? This button right here? That button? That button right there? This one right here? You push it down and watch what happens. <laughs> watch, watch what happens. Press the button. And it knocks, it knocks this little, well, it brings out this little battering ram that says turtle power on it, and it knocks the villain off of the second floor here. And while it does it, it also makes the sounds. Something stinks. Must be the foot. The last feature, and revisiting one of the things that we were looking at before, we've got ourselves this little tiny, almost like a go-kart cart. And this section opens up, like so. And you can take one of the Turtle Brothers. And you can either lay them down if you want, or you could put, you could probably put two of them in there. Uh, let's try, where do we have, where's Raph? There's Raph right there. Let's see if we can actually fit both of the brothers in there. You may not, you might only be able, I've only tried it with the one. 
No, it's not going to fit. Let's just let's just leave Mikey in there and we'll close this up. And you got Mikey in his little go kart. The bottom wheels spin. And what you can do is right behind the Mutant Brothers Mean Three Ring Circus. This, if you, I was just going to take this off, probably be easier to show you. You can take this cart and you can put it to the very top, and it will slide down the slide. Imagine if my hand is the cart, it's going to slide down the slide, and it's going to come out the bottom section right here. So what we are going to do is I'm going to knock the cart through. Right there, there's the cart. Let's give it a little tap, a little gingerly tap, and watch it slide down the slide. And it should, it should actually get, unless it got stuck here, let's turn it around here. Oh, it actually did get stuck. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Let's, let's bring this up, adjust it a little bit better. There we go. And it slides down below. We'll do it again. That way, it's, did spot did it, you guys missed it. Slide it down, and you see it slides out the bottom. I'll just pick that back up. There are the three mean ring circus. It's a really neat set. I find the problem too is with toy lines, we don't get nearly enough really cool play sets, um, especially for figures these small. I mean, again, if I was if I was a kid, I would absolutely eat the this set up. Uh, the turtle toys are small enough that you can take them with you on the go. But then you get the really large play sets like this. And there's a lot of little activities and little things that you can do but above and beyond just displaying your pieces. Uh, it, this is probably one of the cooler things to get above and beyond all the individual figures that we've been looking at. Uh, obviously, the main draw, too, is where you can put them. And this is a great answer to that. And for that, you know what? Let's bring some of the other turtle pieces that we've looked at. There's Donatello. Uh, we got ourselves Leatherhead. Let's put Leatherhead. Uh, let's put Leatherhead up here. He hasn't gotten much attention in the last couple of videos. Got ourselves Master Splinter. He can go down there. Uh, let's reach off camera here. We'll grab April O'Neil. We'll put her down there with Master Splinter. And you've got yourself a really neat display piece. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Half Shell Heroes Super Sewer Headquarters. A phenomenal piece, and definitely one piece that uh, I'm sure the kids are going to be asking for this Christmas. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to be having a look at more toys and other videos of the collectible way. Uh, certainly, thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.